Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also talked to me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her. Mm. And she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Hmm. She will be placed, she will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear my son and receive my saying, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are, li for they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issue of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. And put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. Hmm. We thank you, Lord. Let us find wisdom. Ha, I believe, O oh Lord, that Bible is short version of your wisdom. That is short video of uh, something that cannot be contained. This is the essence of wisdom of God. This is um, the powder that can be mixed with water and always prepared into the situations. This is the DNA. Hmm. Guys, this is Solomon, the wisest man on the earth. He speak to his children, <laughs> the instruction, and he say hmm, that this was David, his father, who told him. Hear the words, words of Solomon. Hear my children, the instruction of father and give attention to no understanding. Hear the instruction. Give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doc doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When, uh, when he was father's son, son of David, the king of Israel, the most glorious king, 
the one who had it all wisdom, godliness, and power to destroy the enemies. If it was not for David, Solomon would not be able to be the peaceful one. Solomon means peaceful. He was the one who came after the battles was finished. And he came after the gold was amassed. So he brought his wisdom into everything that was already prepared. And by his wisdom, he made it excel even more. Uh, but also shown that that wisdom eventually was not enough to keep it from fall. Hmm. And some of those warnings are in here. Saying not to despise the teaching of your father, even of father David. Uh, when I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, David, my father, told me, and said to me, Let your heart retain my words, Solomon. Keep my commands and live. And you guys, listen for yourself. It's not just for Solomon, it's for all of us. The same as people on internet share their wisdom. And we can all take something for ourselves. Let's take the wisdom from the old king that came straight from the hmm, time spent with the Lord. Hmm. And in a way, they are prophetic words. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will preserve you. Love wisdom, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get her. Hmm. And in all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. Wisdom will bring you honor when you embrace her. Understanding will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hear my son, Solomon, and hear my son on the other side of the world, and receive my sayings. And the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. Hmm. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Hmm. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. You know, hmm, many times people might wonder like, so what type of evil <laughs> make people to be sleepless? Is it just violent crime? Or is it devising the laws or the mechanisms that steal from people? Sometimes by means that they cannot avoid, and sometimes by means they cannot see. Hmm. Deceptions, lies, ha. gossip, destroying good name, uh, stealing intellectual property, ha. appropriating your um, work, hmm. taking your hard work and selling it without you getting anything from it. Huh? Imagine the word of God say that all that people devised was just evil. Hmm. And that means until there is the new spirit in us, until there is uh, the new life from God, until we ask for mind of Christ, until we accept that the mind of Christ is better, uh, until we start to unify with how God is, to be one with him. Uh, and then, I'm sure that God put us on this earth to become somebody better than that. In unison with Him. To take His sacrifice 
and the new life that comes from it. And to be uh, the sons of God. To be uh, the people who perpetually come with good ideas. The same as God said, He created things and He said, and behold, it was very good. Let it be that as the time goes, the children of God will create and God will say, and it was very good. Hmm. I believe it is us, the obedient church, that bring the thousand-year kingdom. <laughs> because if Christ was only to do it all by himself, he would be just proving that we people was created only to prove that God is supreme and we are just not good. But he wants us to become one with him. <laughs> he did not need to create somebody so curious as us. Just to tell us to deny ourselves and eventually just worship him without acknowledging for real in our heart that God is righteous. That all this turmoil that we have been through led to the goodness, led to the ultimate revelation of the sons of God. So, my friend, my son, do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. That's what I said. It's not just eternal life. It's not just what comes after this existence. God wants us to become adults in Him. In here, look around. How many Christians is around the world? Many of us don't even know that we actually are offered direct relationship with God. People in many churches, they, they believe that you need priest to pray for you. And, and basically, the mo most important is to be baptized and to confess to the priest. You never even speak to God. But, <laughs> my friend, there is so many of these debates and uh, so many new denominations. I know that the Holy Spirit will do away with them all. Eventually, people will be talked by Holy Spirit and everyone will know God. <laughs> and they will not follow the denominations. But we will unite in that spirit. So, how much, how much time is going to take? God knows. But I'm sure that He is not coming to take into the clouds the church who don't even represent Him. The church who failed to love their neighbors. The church who failed to be the salt. We are more visible when we disagree with things. But who see us uh, making a markant difference? making the businesses that really fulfill the real needs uh, and helping everyone who is fallen. Hmm. Guys, let's do better. God say, and here it is saying, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect, perfect, unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness, they do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. And health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it spring the issues of life. You know this scripture, yeah? We say it many times. Before anything, protect your heart because from it comes issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life. So it is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Hmm.
my words. Give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my saying. Do not let them depart from your ears. Ha! Get them into your subconscious mind. Keep them in the midst of your heart and they will become your life if you find them. They will be held to your flesh. They will heal you. Ha! They will keep your heart. And so make sure that you keep your heart with all diligence. Use these words to keep your heart with all diligence. For after it spring the issues of life. Your vision come from your heart. Your riches and your prosperity come from your heart. Your legacy come from your heart. Your family and the nature of your family come from your heart. The future of your church come from your heart. Hmm. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Perverse, uh, it is simply wrong version. Perverse, it is <laughs> the other version, the wrong version. Turn around, turn upside down. Ha, let us speak the right version. Let us speak correctly. Let your mouth create the word that you want to live in. Let you never speak the opposite of what you want to live in. Let you never speak the curses that sound like teaching. Ha, if you teach, teach life. Because what you are saying, that's what stays in you. That's what stays in those who listen to you. If you say, hmm, and you focus on what not to do, psychologists came to the conclusion that the children and probably all of us, that negative speech will not warn you. Uh, it actually does not do it. So we need to say things that we want. To speak the truth. Put perverse lips far from you. Keep good lips with you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. Amen. May God bless us. Lord, bless this word. Let it be a seed that will let us live led by wisdom of the Lord. Hmm. The understanding of the Lord. Hmm. We thank you, Lord. Amen.